Hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Homes. Welcome aboard. So I'm still working on the construction on that house, but uh, the temperature has hit some lethal levels. Let me rotate. 137 on the soil and it's just in the morning. That'll get up to 150 or 160. I'm switching gears and I'm raising the quality of my life because when I touch metal and do work out here, I'm getting burned. So <laughs> uh, in this one, I'm going to go ahead and review a uh, solar powered, DC powered, AC powered, small uh, refrigerator. So I, I would love to have some chilled sodas and chilled waters and I'd love to be able to make my own ice out here. In addition, I need a low wattage uh, fridge because I don't have my big solar up yet. Now, I do have a big so uh, refrigerator in my shipping container ready to set up in my master kitchen. But, you know, I'm six, eight months away from cutting in the kitchen. I got some other work to get done. So let's go ahead and do a, a little uh, uh, um, off-grid camper uh, uh, fridge uh, review so you all can see it with your own eyes and get an idea for how long it'll last. Uh, it's so hot today that I'm doing indoor stuff. So you'll hear an air conditioning running in the background. I'll try to de-hum everything. So I did an earlier unboxing on a Cuisinart oven and that didn't go so well. But living off grid here, I've been living out of an Igloo cooler, a Coleman cooler, Yeti cooler for quite a while. And um, during the summer months, I use five bags of ice every three days. So that has a cost. Uh, what bags? Ice is three bucks a bag yeah. now. So 15 bucks every three days, that's, that's adding up. So um, at work, I've won uh, bonus points for productivity and that they sent me, I can pick in out of the catalog, right? And so I picked this DC unit. Uh, it's just called Winter, just a generic uh, Winter. I don't know if that's a big name in someplace else, but it doesn't mean anything to me. It's not a GE. Eh. And, but it's a DC freezer and refrigerator. So I'm, I've got my Jackery, I've got my solar. I'm gonna set this all up now uh, as a smaller container. Um, I do have a full-size refrigerator in storage waiting for me to do my master kitchen, which who knows? <laughs> solo build takes a while. Let's unbox this and see what we all think. Get it hooked to a Jackery and see if I can, how it's what the wattage is and how long, how many days it'll work without charge. And then later on, uh, I've got a big Jackery to bring in and bought, unbox that I bought on Prime. So I'll unbox that. Maybe it came with the solar panels, which would be hugely convenient. I'll figure out a spot in this storage container. Uh, the conversion's halfway done. You think, I think I'm halfway done in this yeah. this one. Halfway done. It's livable. Uh, in fact, I asked Leah, what, uh, what level of Airbnb is this? It's one of our better. If I was renting here, it'd be one of our better. The deal is, it's a dry cabin, uh, composting toilet, and a, I still have fire ant problem I haven't solved yet. So those three things would bring it all up. Anyway, let's solve here for this. Uh, I'm tired of buying ice, and I'm tired of uh, the stress of when I come home, I just can't put groceries away. This will be small, but I am a bachelor, so I mean, I don't need much. And I do like to buy fresh groceries about every three oh, days. Oh, to go to the market. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let me open this up. So, all right, it was very well done. That was one was by email. Wow, well, that's nice. It is, look how nice this is. And I, look, I have to put nothing together. I know. Nothing together, totally a better experience than Cuisinart. I'm not sure what this pad is. It's an anti-skid pad, is that all that is? The basket yeah. goes in. <laughs> So there isn't a divider in here. What side is the freezer and what side is the AC unit? Do you know? There's some more little rubber things we don't know. Man, this is this is nice, Leah. So <clears throat> and it un unpackaged just like I went. So look, there's a DC, so we could take it with us when we travel. So it says. Let me throw you the instruction. Paperwork and you can read through that. You don't have your glasses on? I don't either. I do. I have them. Yeah, I'll get them. There we go. Because it is little itty bitty. That's going to be hard. All right, I'm going to take this all apart. Oh, I see what the rubber parts, they go on the racks so the racks don't bounce around. That skid plate might be for on the bottom of these racks so as you drive it doesn't scratch the, uh, the rack and so it might go on the inside. Such a better experience. Oh, I'm really excited about this. 
And I'll quit this video when we're after I get the jackery plugged in and um, bring my thermometer in, see what this temperature is inside of it that we're starting with. And then we'll check it every 10 minutes and see what it gets to. All right, super excited on this winter. So I want to point out to everybody. Door latch, freezer door, large basket, small basket. AC. It has an interior light. Well, it does, interior light, 12 volt. The fuse right there, all in the front, so I don't have to slide it around to troubleshoot. And a USB charger well, right there. This is cool for traveling. We should have bought one of these years ago, Leah. I guess they're just extra little feet. I can see that they're not quite in the right place. Let me put them in the right place. So it's not plugged in yet. Leah said I can do the special peely here. So, you know what? I'm going to leave it on. Oh, well, I was talking about the mat. Oh. No, you can take the mat apart. No, it's, it's really cool. Oh, it's sticky. No, it's not. Once you peel it off, it's not sticky. It's, this it's just a mat. No, I read it to you. So this mat is a special mat. All right. So here we are with the uh, full Jackery. 100%. Zero watt, zero watts, because it's not plugged in. Here's the AC unit. Let's see what the ambient temperature inside of it is. 81. So what I'll do is I'll turn it on and we'll check it every five minutes or 10 minutes. We'll figure it out. Maybe we'll do five minutes at the start and then we'll do 10 minutes. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Oh, by the way, I have not read the instructions, so I'm just going to plug it in and turn it on and assume that it's already set to the thing. I don't know how to change it from freezer to fridge, just the temperature. Is that all it does? It's just a temperature difference? There's instructions on how to do it. Is it a freezer and fridge at the same time? Not one or the other. Ooh, that's pretty handy. All right, let's turn it on. Power. Ooh, boot up. It knows that it's 80. Looky there, it's telling me what the temperature is. I don't have to list the thing. 12 volt. It knew it was on 12 volt. 33 watts. This is a 1,000 watt unit. So 33,000 divided by 33 is how much? Five, six, eight hours? Oh, it went down to four. Oh, now it's back to 39. So let's round it up to 50. What's a thousand divided by 50? 20 hours? Would this thing really last 20 hours? Isn't that something? Man, if this thing lasts 20 hours, I'm going to be amazed. Auto, it says auto on. There's that. All right. Man, and imagine not having any more wet sodas. I kind of like the ice, though, for the animals. The ice is useful. I'm going to have to get a well in. All right, I'm going to let that percolate. Mission successful. Oh, there's a handle on both the front and back. Leah, it is just like a cooler. Well... It's officially 12.25, I started at 12.05, so 20 minutes, and uh, I've used 3% of my Jackery, it's charging at, uh, or running at 59%, now it's down to 19 inside here, 19, that's pretty darn good, and 20 minutes from uh, 81 to ni uh, 19, and dropping. We'll have to put our pizza in here and move some stuff in later on. But I'm going to sign off on this, Leah. It's a very successful little add-on to my off-grid. Yes. Yeah. Well, hey, what's up? I got my AC unit here cooling my fridge, laying down, looking at it. It's keeping me cool. It's nice and cool. So Leah looked it up. 400 some odd dollars is what this was. This is bonus money for me. So uh, bonus points for good behavior or whatever. Um, I think that I've only used 3% in 20 minutes. I think once it stabilizes and shuts off, I bet you this thing will last 18, 20 hours. I'll keep running on this Jackery and find out. Yeah. 
But uh, man, what a way this will improve my lifestyle, which has so far been pretty Spartan. I, and I don't mind Spartan, but this will be nice not to have to mess with coolers all the time, especially through the summer. Um, although I use the cooler water for the chickens, we'll work something out. I don't know. Yeah, but, this is uh, going to be a game changer. Yeah, it'll be a game changer. But it's small enough for me. I'm glad I have it. There's a lot of things I should have done right away with uh, off grid living. Um, I don't know. Uh, Where did you go, though? That's well, I mean. wanted to buy an RV. <laughs> and when I went in, I had a credit card that would have bought an RV. I said, I want to buy an RV. And the guy said, well, you can't use that. I said, I most certainly can. I, it's got a high enough balance I could buy a little RV on it. And uh, he said, no, because people buy RVs on credit cards and then tow them out to wherever, Alaska, then report the card lost and keep the RV. So um, they wanted me to finance uh, through them. Well, I didn't want to finance. I didn't want to finance anything. So, um, and I don't want to use my cash on that. So, you know, I just walked out of there kind of upset. So that's one reason why I've just been piecemealing it. You know, I found a pop-up trailer and, you know, piecemealing it, but everything would have been answered. I think if you had a family, definitely a fully Kudamond uh, RV would be the right way and just buy it. and. Don't be stubborn like me, but um, I'm doing it. You know what? I'm, I'm doing a little at a time and with an honest wage. I'm not a rich man. So, you know, if you did a little bit at a time and I'm doing it in a super hot environment, this Texas off grid is very, very, very difficult. I mean, it's not your tender, uh, tender Tennessee or, you know, tender Michigan, although I imagine winters are hard there. But uh, this is hard, uh, scorching hot, hard. <laughs> And uh, anyway, I'm, I'm looking forward to this little winter. I'll get it stocked up and uh, uh, improve my lifestyle. And we'll find out how long this thing lasts. I have a question for the what? camera. Do you prefer the snow or the heat? <laughs> the camera asks if I prefer snow and heat. Listen, in Michigan, I really did get that sad, that seasonal affective okay. disorder. Eight, nine months of gray sky, I just couldn't handle it. So I prefer okay. Texas over Michigan. And in addition, I do like places where there's money flowing oh, so okay. you know yeah that makes sense. Yeah. all right so it says that it's uh two degrees in there it's brr, it's cold all right and look i bought some of my favorite foods tombstones flatbread and peorgies so let's see if those fit inside here Oh my gosh, the uh, dead. Look at that, everybody. That does fit in there. Oh, I was not expecting that. Wow. Listen, that went in better than I expected. So uh, I switched the jackery out. The other littler jackery had, uh, it was at 24%. But once it, uh, once it hits a stable temperature, it doesn't do anything. So it's telling me this has 61 hours, 65 hours, zero watts, 30% remaining. Um, looking, and this is 24 hours later. Right now it's 31. I'm trying to freeze some water bottles. I already froze water bottles overnight. And of course it's, it's, uh, it's using DC voltage, 13 volts. So there you go. It's got the light in it. I've got a full, um, you know, it's all stocked with all of my goods. So I'm going to say this particular brand, Winter, I'm very happy with it, uh, you know, and, and it will live in my off-grid lifestyle. And uh, it is a low voltage uh, appliance, so that's what you need when you live off-grid, right? So I'll get my solar set up this week. It was damaged in a storm, and so this will have solar into it, and I'll get all this wired up so that I'm not using any generator at all. Let's see. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, maybe even a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.